If you don't know me, I'm Kitty Bang. I feel like this is awkward. Hey, what's up? I'm Kitty Bang, and this is Taquito. We're going to be doing a video about dogs. First off, welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you the most. Um, yeah, we're doing a dog video, which is something I do a lot, hence the fact that I'm a dog trainer. So I'm literally with dogs 24 seven. But I'm also going to be filming a lot of small animal videos and reptile videos soon, so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to Six Flags, so like probably we'll vlog it. So today's dog training video is going to be three things you can teach a puppy very easily. We're going to be using Puppy A and Puppy B in this video. Puppy A is James, he's a golden doodle, and Puppy B is Oscar. He is a double doodle thingy majiggy. And they're both board and trained clients I have, so I have to train them anyway. So I was like, let's do the three basic things that you can teach a puppy. Sit, down, and stay. So, I don't know how this is going to go. Oscar's a very high energy, independent puppy. So it might be a little bit more challenging to get him to focus and really just be able to listen because his mind's so fast and he's so all over the, pl all over the place. But... James is very mellow, so he might get bored, so we want to make sure we have some good food. We're going to use some positive reinforcement because it's in the learning phases, and yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Here's me and James. Ah! This is puppy number one. <laughs> he likes to give kisses. He was just walked. Oh, you big boy. He was just walked, so his mind should be a little calmer than usual, and I find it's best to do training after walk or after walk, after a walk, because it slows their mind down. I think it's a little bit harder to do training after you play with them or throw the ball, because yes, they're physically a little bit tired, but mentally they're super excited. So I always like to do calm, structured things before I try to teach them any obedience whatsoever. So for sit, good sit. All I'm going to do is take my treat, and I'm going to put my hand up. Are you done? I'm gonna put my hand up and as soon as his butt hits the ground, I'm gonna say good sit. A lot of times you'll see people going sit, 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 sit. And what happens there is the dog actually stops listening to your vocal commands. So you really wanna make sure you're conditioning the behavior you want vocally. Sit, good boy, good sit. Then I'm gonna practice down. So I've done one training session with him so far. So he's really smart in getting it. So all I'm gonna do is keep the treat right at his nose, keep him interested and slowly drag down. Down, good boy. You'll find if you put your hand down really fast, they're not gonna go down as well. Down, good boy. He's already done it and gets the gist of it, so he's still going down. But if you have a puppy that's a little bit more bouncy and all over the place, that's when they're gonna pop right back up. So what I'll do is I'll drag it all the way down. Say down once their elbows are on the ground. Down, good boy. Then what I'll start to transition to is instead of giving the treat at the bottom right here, down, good boy, I'll hold it up, and you see how I bounce right back up? I'll put it right back down, and hold it right here, down, good boy, because I want him to start settling into his down. This won't happen until the first couple of training sessions when they understand the behavior, but I find that this down, when you give it to them at the top, it works a little bit better teaching them because it gets them to settle in, where at the bottom, if you give it, their elbows can pop right back up and they can break their down pretty easily. So it just sets you up for a good stay. Down, good boy. Good down. Okay, so now we're gonna practice it. Come here. Sit down for me. Thank you. Down. Good. So first day, I'm only gonna ask for a five second stay with him because I don't want anything too crazy and I might even ask for less than that. You wanna set your dog up for success. So, down I'm gonna hold the treat. One, two, three, four, five. Good, stay. Now I'm gonna start doing a command with my hand. I like to use a stop sign. I work with a lot of kids, so I find that using a stop sign just makes sense for the family. So ready? Down, good, stay. One, two, three, four, good, stay. So right there, I could tell he was about to break, so I like to reward them before they break so that they start to understand why they're getting the treat. Because if you allow them to break a couple of times, then they're confused as to why they're getting the treat, and they're gonna break a little bit more. So you wanna make sure that you're always on top of it. Down, good, stay, ah, 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 stay. Okay, we died, now we're back. What I was saying is with stay, what I want is I'm gonna to start to slowly introduce my body moving back to practice a stay when I'm not sitting right in front of him. So, it's more realistic. Oh, puppy! Bit. 
I'm gonna do is make him lay down. I'm gonna hold it right here and I'm gonna look away. Good, stay. Now I'm gonna redo the hand motion. I forgot to do that, so that was on me. Ready, down. Okay. Stay, good, stay. Good, stay, Jess. Ready? Stay, good, stay. So this is after one training session and he's doing pretty good. It'll take a couple for him to get consistent. He does not want to roll over. Oh, 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 you're a baby. It'll take a couple for him to get consistent, but he's doing pretty well. So I'm gonna bring in the little wild child for you guys. This is Oscar, he's a little bit more a wild child. Sit, see what he knows. Good, sit, okay. So I'm just gonna get him sitting a couple times by dragging the treat up. on him so he can't do that. I'm just going to hold his collar right here. I'm not pushing down, I'm just holding his collar down. Good boy. You don't want to push down or else they don't understand the behavior as much. I'm just going to keep dragging it in front of his nose. So he's a little confused because he doesn't know the behavior I want, so you can see him backing himself up. So all I'm going to do is just keep putting it in his nose, so he knows to follow. And he, since he's backing up, I'm just going to grab his collar so that he can't back up, so that I can just hold him here. Down. Good. Good. Down. And it's really, really crucial to make sure you're not giving them a treat unless their elbows are on the ground. <laughs> I love working with puppies. Sit. five-mile walk this morning and he's been playing with his friends all day long but he still you can tell is like a little all over the place but he really likes this and he's super smart so he's trying really hard hey 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 down good right here I'm gonna bring it up here oh too early for that so I always just try to bring it up and see if they'll settle into it and reward that but I never expect it this is my cat Bridget she helps me train all the dogs She's a big help. Hey, Oscar. Oscar. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. <coughs> Sit. I love high pitch noises to get their attention. I drug it down a little too fast right there, so I'm just going to slow my roll a little bit. So we're going to practice a little bit more because our camera died. So everybody sit. Oh, all right. Good boy. Good down. Puppy now. Oscar, lay down. So that's what it should be. Eventually, you just make the word so they understand it. Okay, Oscar, sit, good, ah, ah, ah. Shh. Shh. Benjamin, down, down, good. Taquito, sit. Taquito, sit. Taquito. You're doing so badly trained. I'm trained dog, so I just don't have to train you. Okay, Oscar. Shh. Good. 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 Good.
Sit. Down. Good. Good one. Good. Down. Boxer thinks these tricks are lame, so he wants to show off his boxer. Sit. Sit pretty. Good. Down. Down. Good. Bang. Good. Up. Sit. Spin. Good. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you and we hope you enjoyed our videos. Dusty's mad because I'm balancing the camera on the wet food box. She really wants her food, but the camera's on it. So yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know any other dog videos you'd want to see or what pets you'd like to see in the future. I'm pretty sure the next video I post will be a morning routine for with all my pets and the dogs. So it'll be fun. Tune into that. I love you. I will see you later. Zesty's mad, so I'm going to go feed her. Bye!